Ladies and gentlemen, today we are doing a Cincinnati Bengals seven round mock draft. Um, as I've been saying the last couple days, if you haven't seen it, go back to Monday's show. I'll try to remember to put a link over here. Um, what I'm doing is I'm piggybacking off of that first round pick. So I'm, I, w w that's the first round pick. And then you want to know, okay, what happens the rest of the draft? You're going to find out right here. I only am going to do it this week for the Jets, Jaguars, Bengals, Cowboys, Chargers, Eagles, because as the season goes on, the order changes and it becomes less and less uh, true. Also, the big boards change and all that kind of stuff. So I want to keep it kind of fresh. So we're going to get through these, uh, what, six-ish teams, seven-ish teams this week, and then we'll, we'll mix it up after that. But anyways, let's get started. With the third overall pick in the first round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Penne Sewell, offensive tackle, Oregon. Now, I actually think the offensive line has slightly improved. It was nice to get Jonah Williams back. He hasn't been perfect, but it, it's, it seems like he's potentially a starting offensive tackle, I guess. I don't know. Hart, on the other hand, um, can probably go bye-bye. My thought is that we're going to kick Williams over to right tackle. Hopefully he has a little bit more success over, over there. Penne Sewell kind of varying degrees of love for him but but up to and including generational talent is how some people view him so i'm thinking he's going to be our left tackle that'll hopefully solidify that a little bit more than what we have now um you've got uh for example sua Filo is on the team still he's locked up for some time he's getting older but he's actually playing some pretty good football so the offensive line isn't the worst in the world and I, I kind of feel like if we focus on Penny Sewell for now to try to keep our quarterback healthy, and I hope that he's doing okay. I don't know exactly his long-term prognosis, but um, we've we've done a good thing with getting the quarterback that we've gotten. We got to get him some more protection, maybe help him out in a couple other ways. But uh, assuming he can bounce back, I think that this will be a good step toward um, you know moving in a better direction. With the 35th overall pick in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Chris Olave, wide receiver, Ohio State. Bottom line is we just need more help. It's not necessarily that we need better help. I don't hate our wide receivers, but you look at it, we got Green, we got Ross, we got Thomas, and we got Erickson are all free agents currently, meaning if we don't resign them, they're not playing in 2021. Green presumably is gone. Ross is probably gone. There's been rumors about him getting traded since forever. I don't know about the other guys, but even beyond that, we got Boyd and we got Higgins. That's cool. We're going to add a little bit more. Hopefully between the trio of Boyd, Higgins, and Alave, we not only now have a, an adequate depth of wide receiver that we can actually field, but we've, we've got uh, some really quality uh, football players between the three of them. So with the 31st, 35th pick, we're going with Chris Olave, wide receiver, Ohio State. With the 67th pick in the third round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Nick Bolton, linebacker, Missouri. Now, you may have seen some highlights recently of Nick Bolton on Twitter. Absolutely blasting guys, real physical guy. I mean, when I, when I look at a guy like Nick Bolton, my mind immediately goes to the AFC North, right? The Cincinnati Bengals, the Baltimore Ravens, the Pittsburgh Steelers, just big bad physical linebacker i know we've taken several swings i think we got three last year in the draft but all of them are kind of terrible so we're going to keep taking swings at this thing unfortunately but again i think nick bolton is going to be if nothing else a, a attitude adjustment for this defense and, and is really going to kind of um bring a little bit of respect to the defense so nick bolton out of missouri to the bengals with the 99th pick in the fourth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Levi Onwuzurike, defensive tackle, Washington. I butchered it, but I had fun saying it, and I'm proud of that. I'm, I'm good with that. Um, I really love Mike Daniels being a Packers fan, and it pains me to have to say this, but I think Daniels and Covington might be the worst defensive tackle duo in football right now, and Hunt and Williams don't really change that equation very much, so... I mean, at this point, we're in the fourth round. I really would rather not go any further without at least taking a swing at defensive tackle because this is an absolute nightmare, and it has to get better. With the 131st pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Nick Eubanks, tight end, Michigan. I know tight end isn't, you know, when, when you're a team picking third overall, you're looking for, I want quarterback a tackle an edge rusher i want the important pieces and especially this one glaring thing i want it fixed i want every pick to be that but the fact of the matter is the way the board was stacked for me 
it was literally about half of them were tight ends. He was uh, Eubanks was at the top of that list of available players. And it is a need. I mean, we do need a tight end. We do need it to get better. We do need more weapons for our quarterback. We want to help out our quarterback. So really, um, as much as tight end might be kind of a what the heck is that about pick, um, it's kind of important. And so that's what we're going to do. With the 163rd pick in the 2021 NFL Draft sixth round, the Cincinnati Bengals select Josh Joby, cornerback, Alabama. So it's it's... To one sense, it's best player available. Um, he is top of our board. But on top of that, our corners just are not really playing good football. And in retrospect, I don't think going out and paying the trash Vikings corners a bunch of money to come over here and, and suddenly be good corners made a lot of sense to begin with, right? We didn't really put the investment in in the draft. We spent more time in free agency going out getting subpar corners. It's kind of time to ch turn that around. I know it's not great to wait until the sixth round. That's not necessarily that giant of an investment, but we got to at least do something, and I'd rather not go any further. And when I see a cornerback at the top of the board, it's kind of a no-brainer for me at this point. With the 195th pick in the seventh round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Adetokumbo Ogudenji, Ogundenji, edge rusher, Notre Dame. So Lawson is solid, but outside of Lawson, what? Exactly. So I know we're in the seventh round. You don't really expect that much, but Notre Dame is a pretty solid defense. Um, not that that means a whole lot. It really comes down to the player, but I like the mentality, and I like getting guys that come from a defense that have just a certain kind of mentality that we are this sort of dominant, scary, whatever, whatever. So you bring that over. You bring over that mentality of what we want to be, and he understands what is expected of a top-tier defense. Again, I, I don't know the odds of a of pick 195 being a good pass rusher, but we're not going to not do anything, and we're not going to not pick anyone because it's the seventh round, so there you go. With the 200th pick in the seventh round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the Cincinnati Bengals select Ben Brown, offensive guard, Ole Miss. Um, kind of goes without saying, it's not a very good offensive line. I mentioned we've got our two tackles now who hopefully are going to be dominant tackles. We've got Suofilo, who's not bad. Hopkins isn't the worst in the world, but at the very least, we know we're going to have to replace uh, Quentin Spain because uh, Quentin Spain is not good. He's never been good, and he's somehow getting worse at his job. So at the very least... Adequate interior. Again, seventh round pick, who knows, but we're going to do what we're going to do. Try to build up this offensive line, protect our quarterback, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You know how the whole thing works. So that's kind of where we're at. We, we've, we've done that. On top of that, we brought in a third wide receiver. So that should be solid in addition to Nick Eubanks, the tight end out of Michigan. So we've got some weapons. We already have a good running back, an improved offensive line, a top tier quarterback. On the defense, we didn't quite do as much as we had hoped, but we at least added a cornerback. We've got Nick Bolton to bring some attitude and some violence to that linebacker position, and Levi Onwuzurike, the defensive tackle out of Washington, who I actually genuinely believe is going to be a starter day one, not only because he's a good football player, talented out of Washington, but because things are so bad and getting so aged at defensive tackle for the Bengals, he's just going to get thrust right into that role. So... That's it. Let me know what you think in the comments section. If you enjoyed the video, please like the video. Please subscribe so you don't miss another um, mock draft. I'm hopefully going to be doing plenty of these, more tomorrow and, and, and beyond. So uh, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.